In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on and use the barometric pressure change indicator on your Casio ProTrek PRG270 watch. This is module 3415 from Casio. I'll also say this is a feature that's not unique to this watch. It's actually available on several of the other Casio models that have the barometer mode. So what exactly are we talking about? I'm in my regular timekeeping screen on this watch. Now you've got a couple different view options and this is pretty common with most of your ProTrek models. If I press the adjust button, it's the top left button, in my timekeeping mode, I can see my time, I can see my seconds, the day of the week and the day of the month. I press it again, I can see the month and the date. I press it one more time, I can see this graph that's showing up here. And one thing that is cool about this model is a lot of your ProTrek models will show a graph for the last 24 hours. This one will show you what your barometric pressure has been doing over the last 42 hours. So each one of these dots that you're seeing is representing a two hour time increment and then the blinking one is my current reading. So what exactly is the pressure change indicator? If you wanna just use the barometer mode, you can simply press the middle button on the right hand side and that'll take us into our barometer. We can kind of see the same thing we saw before. Here's my trend over the last 42 hours. Here's my current barometric pressure uh, reading. And then at the bottom is going to be my temperature and my battery level. My temperature is 76.6 and my battery level on this watch is high. But maybe you're going camping, maybe you're going hiking and you want the watch to tell you if a storm is coming. The way it would do that is it can, you can turn on the barometric pressure change indicator and what it'll do is it will monitor the barometric pressure every two minutes for the next 24 hours and if there's a sudden increase or decrease or rapid change in barometric pressure, you will see it on the watch face and the watch will beep to let you know that there's a potential for a storm coming. Basically it gives you some heads up so you can get out of there or prepare for a storm. The way we're gonna turn that on is while we are in the barometer mode, we are going to press and hold the barometer button. You'll notice when you hold it, it says info, hold on. And then basically your screen's gonna change a little bit. Instead of us seeing a 42 hour uh, graph up here, you'll notice that the graph is kind of cut in half and the right side is blank. You'll also notice it says BARO next to it. That tells us that we are in the barometer pressure change indicator uh, setting. It will continue to stay in this mode. Now the barometer mode, it will stay in for 24 hours. I'm sorry, for one hour, and then it will kick us out. The barometric pressure change indicator mode will stay on for 24 hours and it will continue to monitor our barometric pressure. We do not have to stay in the barometer mode. So if I go back to my main timekeeping mode, you'll notice that whereas before we were seeing the 42 hour graph, now we're only seeing 21 hours and we're seeing BARO next to it. In the event that in the next 24 hours, there's a sudden change in barometric pressure, we will see a arrow that will display up here in the top right uh, corner under the uh, barometric pressure change indicator. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to show you that in a video. I, maybe I can do a time lapse and put this watch on for 24 hours and see if I can uh, show it to you with a time lapse. But that's how we turn on that feature. If you want to turn it off, again, it will automatically turn off after 24 hours. If you've you know, left your campground, you don't care about uh, the barometric pressure change anymore, you can turn this off manually. Uh, I should say the only reason you would really want to turn it off is maybe you don't want to be getting the constant or the alerts anytime there's a, cha a rapid change. The other thing is while this is on, it's going to be using more battery life because it's taking a barometric pressure change or sorry, barometric pressure reading every two minutes for the next 24 hours. If we go back into the barometer mode, we can simply press and hold the barometer button and that will turn off the barometric pressure change indicator. Pretty simple stuff. It's one of those features. I think a lot of people kind of go into the barometer mode on these ProTrex and they think, okay, here's my barometric pressure and here's what it's been doing over the last 42 hours. But it's kind of nice to know you have the ability to turn on that storm alert feature if you wanted to. If I happen to do a time lapse and can show you what the indicator changes look like, I'll be sure and attach it to this video. I hope this gives you an idea of how to use the barometric pressure change indicator on your ProTrek PRG270 watch. Thanks for watching.